So get ready. All right, I am standing here with Paul because the time has come for us to get a little dirty. We're talking about Dirt 3. What's new in Dirt 3? What are you guys bringing back and what's brand spanking new? Okay, so for Dirt 3, we've really listened to what the fans wanted. Um, we had a lot of feedback, so we've introduced a whole load more rally. We've got weather, time of day, and a load of locations to just drive through. It's you against the environment, you against eight other competitors, and we're just bringing rally back to where it belongs. Now, with the weather system, obviously, it's going to play a huge difference in the way we drive around the tracks. Can you tell us how exactly, you know, whether we're racing on dirt or whether we're racing on gravel? Each surface type will have a weather variant applicable to it. So you end up in a situation where your visibility's down, you're trying to cope with slippery friction conditions. But again, as a rally driver, it's your job to get on with that and deal with those conditions. So you've just got to do the best you can. Now, how exactly does time of day affect something like a rally race? OK, so when you're racing first thing in the morning, the sun's really low, you've got really long shadows. The track's not as easy to see as a midday race. You'll come around corners, you'll get the sun right in your eyes, it'll blind you for a brief period, and then you just have to adjust and get on with the racing. When you're racing at night, obviously there's no light, so you're relying completely on your headlights, picking your way through the stages, just seeing shadows of trees on the side of the track, but it's going to be really intense. You'll be like right on the edge of your seat. Now, you guys are also introducing a brand new sort of race style to the Dirt Series that we might have never seen before unless we watch YouTube videos, right? Absolutely. Gymkhana started off as an event that amateurs would do in car parks. They'd essentially set up some cones, just drive their cars around, try and get around a course in as quick a time as possible. We were desperate to get it into the game, so it was the next logical choice to take Gymkhana and put it into Dirt 3. You had a chance to play it earlier on today. There's some great stuff that you can do in the environments that we've set up for Gymkhana, and we're creating a whole scoring mechanism for it as well, so players are going to get a chance to, to drive this new discipline and um, to appreciate the nuances of setting up these really technical tricks, but also to just have that fun of creating their own set routes through these crazy environments and just having great fun. So we've taken everything we've learned from Dirt 1 and Dirt 2, rolled them into this new package of Dirt 3 and, and just created this ultimate experience and expression of off-road racing. So whether you're a rally fan from way back in the day or you're just a brand new rally fan, you think you have what it takes, Dirt 3 might get a little dirty though. Bring a towel. Ready.